I don't think so either. I think he's a funny hero. Look at this. He, you know? He Dude, look at this. They're, they're yeah. gonna sandwich Vici Gaming right now. They're actually gonna chase him into the mines that Jerex is laid out by the tower. If they try and go back to the tower, we're dead. Paparazzi's just running straight left, but instead he runs into a stasis trap. He does manage to blink himself away thanks to the Aphonic Shield, a fast blink out. And now an arrow nails Seb. Paparazzi says it's time to come back. The reinforcements are here. The call has been made. Vici Gaming gonna just kite out and he'll slowly take away. Wait, look at the 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 mines. They're just making it to the mines. They say, please, no. Jerex, save this anything. But VG Gaming have oh, no remorse. No chance. Oh, no, 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 they got wiped, but at least they brought VG Gaming down Dude, with them. What a bait. What a bait. You what saw No Tail, he had. Exactly what you're. He was mining the bottom side first. Oh, we got the arrow on Anna. Anna taking a lot of damage. They don't want to over. They're trying to get back to the mic. No tail doesn't have a force set for anything. I feel like this is kind of obvious as they do have the detection down. Tops is going to jump right in, though. He does have the roof pump to get into that before the unstable concoction, but that paparazzi. He does so much damage. He's going to be pulled back into the mic. Oh, he's going to be pulled back into the mic. Oh, he's going to be pulled back into the mic. Oh, he's going to be pulled back into the mic. Oh, he's going to be pulled back into the mic. Oh, he's going to be pulled back into the mic. Oh, he's going to be pulled back into the mic. Oh, he's going to be pulled back into the mic. Oh, he's going to be pulled back into the mic. Oh, he's going to be pulled back into the mic. Oh, he's going to be pulled back into the mic. Oh, he's going to be pulled back into the mic. Oh, he's going to be pulled back into the mic. Oh, he's going to be pulled back into the mic. Oh, he's going to Crush, Seb, healing up inside oh, of his rib. Oh, no, he's up, he got him. He finally pulled him into the mines. He knew he was there. They're going to get him. They're going to get another one. They're going to jump on top of Yang, who has to grow up to the He just gets one shot. That's a team wipe for OG. This, it feels like it should be okay, but because the jungle creeps, like, progressively have been giving less and less XP for the meta, yeah. you actually end up getting behind, like, two levels by somebody that can just purely lane. And I'm sure that feels even worse than somebody sapping your experience oh. lane. They will be able to get the dive on his eye, but Storm Spirit just picks up his level 6, but he's completely out of mana. And old Jerry might just be able to run him down. He's tower. really hoping for another lucky oh, shot. Rocket does it. manage to get him the pull back, but the slow is just enough. Jerex gets the final swing on Magical to claim the kill. And will be able to, I think, got out of the Shadow Demon's range. I think he might have died before the TP. Succeeding over the Storm Spirit, they naturally did so off of one kill on the Bloodseeker. And now the, the last tier one tower that's left, just go for it. At the very least, I think you should defend that area to the death if you're OG. As they're going to get into this mini fight. He's gonna try and finish off the Shatter Demon for them. Does manage to get the chains on the Warlock. He drops the Golem though onto the three of them with the Fatal Bonds. Alpha Blizzy, he just can't get a hold of anybody. And they're slowly but surely picking away at this Warlock and tries to hide in the trees. But Jerry, quick to swashbuckle him down. Now the Storm's here trying to grab played. somebody here, but he just can't get a hold on anybody. Blizzy, gonna have to call and rage. But he knows there's nothing he can do. He will slowly be run down by OG. Forget the tower, just get the kill. Still, it's so tanky. Trying to push out that mid lane. They are going to be able to finally the Tempest double ties. Heal up a little bit more for Magical. See if he can deal with this bottom lane push to Sep. Every single time he just establishes himself as this super tanky hero that could be right there hitting the barracks. And they can't really commit to him. That's why the Storm Shirt is always going for that back line. Does manage to find the real tops and he's gonna be forced to pop the cheese. But now magical! Oh no, he's used a little bit too much. He does have a bunch of stick charges though. One last jump gets him close to the belt, but not close enough. And uh, sees a weakness and he's gonna try and jump towards him, finish him off the storm spirit. He's low and he dies. The golem doesn't get there in time to be able to bail him out. That's two minutes on the clock. Snako, he's gonna die here as well. Doesn't even have his level 20, so no extra golem for him on death. And Navi, with only two members alive, crystallized. Step halfway. This feeling like a desperation type of play here. They're, they're gonna have global, but th this OG's team is just so strong right now. Thompson's in position. He does have Lotus Orb to deal with the silence also. Good avalanche cost combination coming out, but it's on an H property. Super tanky. Seb just goes for the walk away, keeping him alive. And Ray King tries to run forward, but he's not doing nearly enough damage here as they just completely eviscerate him one time through. The Queen of Pain is already dead. They pull Schofield in only to bring him back down. And Ana pops the BKB, finds the kill. OG, oh, too freaking good. And Whisper will take down Seb. Comes at a cost as he too is going to the grave. Yeah, they're at uh, the very least. And GG. No... Oh, it goes both ways. They dire scan. They see this movement coming. 
Will they try and bait and take this fight? They need to time the ravages coming. It's not quite near in time, perhaps. Artis is going to be careful. He's going to go down. He does not have a BKB yet. Ty throws him in from the side, but they're going to throw the ravage. Hit several. They kill No Tail. He instantly buys back to come back in this fight. No Tail. We'll be TPing back in as Thompson in the front lines with that flame gun. He's just so damn tanky. And the slide of this man does so much damage at this stage of the game. They're going to look for a fourth kill here. They want a swarm. And there's just nothing EG can do to win this one. Another bar strike from Seven. They're going to finish off S4 as and well. Sumail bails them. We need just deeply stop to pick up uh, at least the bounty runes because this fight didn't this? go well. But this Roche fight is going to be so hotly contested. Fighting around Roshan, this is where buybacks really come into play. And Pugna, buyback on cooldown means Thompson has to play this Roche fight incredibly cautiously. All two males just gonna go reddening in. They get the two man route. Is there a few to follow up? You betcha catches up too. Jerex is in trouble. He's been taken up by Ortiz. He instantly buys back, but they've also lost No Tail, who does not have a buyback. And Thompson, we talked about his buyback sets. He's dead for 75. This could be EG securing themselves Roshan. Anna's been slept up. Is there a fiend script? It's on cooldown. It's already been used. Anna's got the blade fury. Anna still has ulti. Yeah, Ember's put it out of the remnant. Yeah, they throw out the RP. There's going to be a nightmare to try and save him. Sumail's out of mana. Sumail's dead, and they're going to lose Sven as well. Anna with a double kill for his team. Only got the one kill. Godlike streak on Arteezy is ended as S4 does not have borrowed time, and the Blade Fury is just going to look to chase him down. Jarek with the stuns. His buyback coming into play there. Should go straight into Roche, but they still have a healing ward. EG, they got. Now they're kind of just stuck. They're just sitting outside of their base here, unable to really get out. They know they're just going to get chased out and die. This could be a last last effort here of the smoke. They're trying to get a big epicenter. This one goes five out as well. It's going to feel pretty bad. They're going to try and fully commit onto Thompson. Thompson straight away. Still get the time to find the tornado. Trying to juke it out, but they will get him. Okay. They get more. Let's see if they can chase for more. Money's in onto the high ground. Little ball seven. No tail. Jump forward with the swashbuckle. No tail. Very low. That was going to look to roll him down. We'll fight him with the rolling thunder. Rolls across. But they've lost Monet. Monet's been taken out by Anna. Sensu pops the stone gaze, forcing OG back. But Anna's ready to turn. With the radius, he's burning Sensu down low. They do lose no tail. Anna trying to fight around this shrine Aegis. area. Does still have the Aegis. So he's not too worried about any of RNG's attempts to bring him down. Thompson's also bought back and he's chasing forward. He wants yeah, to get Monet, but he's also bought back. It's out onto Monet. Monet looks to be on the verge of a dieback. The echo. One more remnant. Anna's in. On to Sensu. Triple kill for Anna. Finally cut down by Monet with the slider fist, but it's only an Aegis. Anna's going to be back. He'll move towards Jax. Fly by Arfu, having to keep Monet alive. He's got a remnant. We'll be able to get away. Ice Blast is down onto Anna. Anna, turning. He's holding his ground. Ten to an it's over 2k ahead of the cores on, on BP's side. He's got Radiant's middle tower. Has he's fought. got 20 kill involvement out of the 24 for his team already. Far. OG just look, look at this. Look at the way they're playing. They're not farming, pushing out lanes. They saw someone on the map. They saw no one. They want him. They want blood. No one. No mercy. They found him. The Fisher block off no one. What's the best play he can do? He has no TP for 40 seconds. He came up to this top lane. He'll quickly be sent back. As death. Back to bat for no one. Uh, but yeah, he's getting the heart. This kill is ridiculously difficult oh, to jump perform. in, toss back. They found themselves a target. But Prism back with a fresh assault cuirass. That's a lot of life and armor. They have to get through. Yuaz giving it a shot. OG have come in deep. CCNC once again just stunned up for control from the back line, trying to create more space. He'll be the first one to die here. The roar is finally out, but for what a veil. Nothing is really going here. And Thompson, he's the man that's going, going, going into the belt. looking spicy for OG right now. That is true. Their laning stage, I was skeptical in the start, especially about this bottom lane, but things are looking great right now, mainly because our team, they're okay. <laughs> they're actually just... <laughs> Put the slag down, build a wall, and that's easy, can't cross it. Top lane, Seb's in real trouble in the middle of the call down. The attendants will not help him. The homing missile from Samel will wipe that smile off his face while fly under the tier two tower. Jirax and Thompson once again comboing together. They're the Smash Brothers right now. S4 as well as Arteezy, the TP out. The stun, space created. And Jirax will also leave. Oh, you're playing really, really good Dota right now. And now the runes as well. Their other two cars are not looking too shabby. Gyrocopter almost top net worth. Ogre is ahead of the Enchantress. Here we go again. Toss me. Oh, dear. 
Thor tell the elf? The worst thing, I mean, can you even blame him? They've like smoked him two or three times, and <laughs> they have deep wards. They just keep running down, and now Thompson. This is his sixth credit. kill. He's taken 50% of the kills for OG. Thompson, how fast can this guy be enabled? Phase boots up, moves through the trees, and now the Fissure Block. Curax, this is why on support ES, he is one of the greatest. Walking up blindly uphill. But Samal be ready to fight. This courier still hasn't brought his item to him, but they won't care if Thompson, Avalanche, Tom, Thompson's taking so much damage. Help is there from Don't Tell. Thompson just needs to get the hell out of the end. And now they think it's quite They've got so much damage. The controls will actually hold in the ES, but you won't care if you've got the kill first and that's easy. Then the crit, time dilate. Samal's got no movement speed. Four heroes from EG, topple like dominoes. All sides fine. They want to be able to fight for the bounty runes. Thompson, ready to go. He's going to wait out the ice path. He can blink forward, toss back on Asamus, or he can look for more. He's going to look for more, and sure, he's going to grab Jerry. Oh, into the the and then double charge. Yeah, went into the charge, into the vacuum with the wall. What a sick combo from OG. Is now they look to be able to run down even more heroes. X Nova. Unstable concoction will actually stun himself, but X Nova just playing a game of Ring Round the Rosie. But it has a deadly finish for X Nova. It's now 9 to 20. OG marching high ground at 20 minutes again for uh, a Tide Hunter. So being able to get the hard counter of Legion Commander against that Slark instead and swapping Thompson over the mid lane. See, Do you feel um, like it's a hard counter? I think uh, when there's a commander save. against Slark. I think it's relatively open. I think when there's a save, it's really hard. Top lane, X Nova getting quite low. The new from set, right click from Jerex will finish this off as Ame has to back out, reset himself, leaps away over the tree line. First blood going to OG. They just do not have the damage right now to kill these heroes. They're too tanky. And like I said, to Seb, right? Seb in the back line just here goes to heal everybody with that Guardian Angel. He's already trying to pull the wave away they from win, but they're chasing. So we are. And the the Jarex is over. And there's the E-Blade combo coming out. A GA to celebrate as the fight continues down bottom, making sure that Nodel doesn't go down. The two of them soul bound together. Anna's in with the chains. Brownlee strikes down on a miracle. Miracle cannot get out of this one alive. He's dead without buyback. Mind control as well. The chase never ends from OG. All stacked up outside the base. OG keeping them trapped inside of there. They have they have everything ready. They have all their tools available to fight. They've got a run of HLs on set now as well. Find the troll, find the jump with the rabbits. We hide it as well, but they have the damage out. Time they do. They kill Thompson. There's a lot of money going away for Oki though. Can they get more out of this army side? Bouncing around Jared. A buyback comes out for Thompson. He wants to rejoin the fight. As OG turns, they'll get one. Oh, no. There's the setup again. For the three man Chrono catches the ball. Double kill for Adam. The top up disabled. Taking down Miracle. The Phantom embraces on Corona. Chase him up to the base. Triple kill for Adam. Two buybacks to come out from Liquid, but no Tide or Juggernaut. That Spirit Hero damage is there now. Oh, they're going to join the fray finally. There we have it, Miracle's Mana. It's pretty much entirely gone by Thompson's Focus. Look for GH. Oh, he can't get out of the Mana, GH. He's dead, and now OG. They have that numbers advantage for this defense. They'll try and change the ball. Thompson, one for Hyde, quick Miracle down. There's the Shackle turn around. They're looking for Jarrett. Jarrett's backing away. Thompson focusing Miracle. Miracle's still out. Only the ones. He gets the his Thompson, he's on top of Kuro. Another Kuro out there. The toss back into the combo. Jarek oh has the control. God. They're all getting picked apart as my control falls. Miracle is surrounded. And they're, and they're all there. able to get this as well. OG, they will roll. And they're even taunting. They toss him to the dragon. Holy crap. Thompson, the defusal. The defusal is absolutely working. Something. Super all their mana.